Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Derek Bittner and Rogers Base to give our predictions for the rumored upcoming Nintendo Direct. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is a little bit different than what we normally do, because generally when we do predictions, it's based on something confirmed from Nintendo themselves. But here's the thing. There's been a direct rumored in January for quite a while now, uh, and basically confirmed from E or by EA a few, I think a couple months ago, or like a month ago, when that leaked slideshow thing came out. And beyond that, and beyond that, the specific date of the 11th has been floating around for some insiders for a little while now. And Nintendo, on top of it all, has been kind of trolling their audience with these vague teases on their Twitter account. Um, and this is all on top of things we've been hearing ourselves. So before we get into our specific predictions, though, for this Direct, which seems like it probably is happening tomorrow with or without an announcement. Yeah, um, yeah. I just want to talk about the general vibe right now. Like, right now, it's crazy on Twitter, or <laughs> etc. Like, every, like, the internet's ablaze right now in the Nintendo sphere with what's going on with this Direct. Hey, great pun! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like Chibi Robo. <laughs> yeah, like Chibi's literally on fire. Which, by yeah. the way, is probably the most attention Chibi Robo has ever gotten in the past 20 years. <laughs> so, Roger, I know you've had your finger on the pulse of this very issue. What is your general sense right now, the, like, the overall sentiment of what's going on with the Nintendo Direct at this very moment? Yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing. I actually don't mind, because I like I like trolling. I like getting things like this. I like getting little teases. I actually think it's pretty funny. But it does seem kind of unprecedented for them to know that the fan base already knows about this Direct. Even if like that EA leak didn't happen, all of us would have put money on the fact that this is going to happen in January. Right. I think there was only one year that it didn't happen in recent memory, and that was during the Wii U era, so it's like, of course there wasn't going to be a January Direct, there wasn't <laughs> stuff to talk about. Now there's stuff to talk about, the Switch is obviously very successful, every day we're hearing stuff about how like sales figures, and how much certain games are selling, and how much people love their Switch, so I think they just really want to play off the hype of that. Um, but yeah, the second that they retweeted yesterday, the parrot from Super Mario Odyssey saying, I have a secret, and it was like from last month, and it had nothing to do with anything else they tweeted, and then today, <laughs> posting that picture of Chibi Robo on fire <laughs> to the point where then it, people were so crazed about this potential announcement that Resetera even changed their official logo to include this burning Chibi Robo in it. It's, it's just absolutely insane and I for one I'm all for it. Like you know bring it's, on the chaos. I it, like it. No, I mean speaking of chaos then we had that tweet from GameStop which which was teasing the Nintendo Direct in 45 minutes which of course we knew that wasn't happening. So right. it seems like they had a scheduled tweet that went up maybe a day early or something. Um, so there's a lot of weird stuff going on here, uh, and this is all predicated on the fact of, I mean, really the only thing in question is the fact, is it actually tomorrow? I've already said that we, we think it is, um, but, you know, that's not confirmed by Nintendo itself. But yeah, this is, this is crazy, and, if, you know, for Nintendo's sake, there better be one tomorrow, because if they've been teasing their fan base into this frenzy and, and they don't deliver anything, <laughs> um, that's gonna get ugly, I think. Yeah, so. I think it's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird situation to be in, because I don't think they actually teased anything until yesterday. Right. Everything else was sort of like speculation from fr fans, and like, if they didn't address it, then I would have understood. But now that they did, it's like, okay, you gotta deliver with this direct. And I think that's the big issue with this, is I actually think last year was amazing for Nintendo. They don't need to do a lot to impress me with this direct. Like, give me some dates for, you know, Yoshi or Kirby, or give me some more information on Octopath, maybe like one or two game announcements, show us Fire Emblem or something. And that's really all they would have needed to do. I think the Switch is already sort of like riding high, so just filling out that release schedule for the, the first half of the year, or like pre-E3 part of the year, would be fine. But now that they're really hyping it up, and you see even third parties getting in on this, and you have like other companies that are tweeting right. about it, it does seem like it's a much bigger thing. Uh, to the point where, like I said, other other big third parties are like teasing that there's going to be some type of announcement, and then it's not happening. It's like, all right, come on, Nintendo, like what's really going on here? Well, I am glad that you say it may not take much to impress you with this, because my first prediction, not that we're getting into them quite yet, but my yeah. first prediction is this is going to disappoint people. Simply based on <laughs> yeah. the amount of hype going into this, I don't think there's any way this could possibly live up to the amount of hype. Like, I don't think I've seen this before. To this degree, like, this is crazy, because we haven't truly had a full direct since, I believe, September. We had some game-specific ones beyond that, and we've seen, what, it's, 
Resetera on this like second thread for this now. I think. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. just <laughs> absurd. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think people people might be disappointed by this, regardless of what actually ends up happening. Yeah. There, there is time, no uh, way that pe- they're going to meet expectations for this. People no, have built up no. too much in their minds, and then that was built up even more when Nintendo started. Uh, Fanning the flames, doing their own thing. Yeah. Literally, it was actually making flames and yeah, yeah. Robo exactly. <laughs> it was they just like they took that those flames like we can make those bigger. Just start piling on the uh, lighter fluid and whatnot, and <laughs> it, it's just insane. I think if they had not addressed it, people would have looked back and said, "Okay, Nintendo didn't hype this up at all." Right? No, Nintendo instead Nintendo looked at this as like, "Let's troll a little bit and have some fun with this." So <laughs> one would hope they have something to match all this, but. Honestly, I, I agree with you, Audrey. I think people are going to be disappointed if you're going into this with incredibly high expectations. Keep it in check. I'm going personally. I'm going pretty small for this. Like I, for some reason, it's just like, especially after all this hype, it's like, oh, this, this is going to be bad. Well, <laughs> I think gonna, not bad, but like not as big as everybody's hoping. Was I'm trying to remember. Was a January direct the first January direct for the Wii U? Was that the big one they had where they announced Wind Waker HD? Or was that a little uh, bit later in the year? No, I, I actually think remember. that was the first big January okay. one they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, so in that case, like the situation the situation is a little bit reversed from the Switch, and that the Wii U was kind of a failure out of the gate, whereas the Switch is a huge success. So they don't need to save the system with this direct like they did before. Right. So yeah, so I so I wouldn't be surprised if they're holding back things for E3 or possibly even other directs before E3 but I think they generally have like between two to three like console spo- console focused directs before E3 even so they may not blow out everything in January they may want to hold off for like March you know maybe uh, May or even until E3 itself so yeah I if I remember correctly there is one usually around January then one around like yeah March April then you've got the E3 one then you've got the one in September and then sometimes one near the end of the year sort of spaced out right. with like the little mini game direct. Sometimes there's one that's just focused on one game. Like last year, we had the Splatoon one, we had the Arms one, uh, we even had that Fire Emblem one with Echoes. And so I think I think like we could expect more stuff like that going into the year. But I think again with this January direct, the precedent and the bar is already set so high because there were so many giant announcements that happened in the one in the Wii U era. Mm-hmm. But like you mentioned, it was like that was specifically to save the system. They don't need to go into this one with the same level of hype and literally like showing all the things they have planned for the next two, three years. Mm -hmm. Because again, E3 is going to happen. And a lot of the games that like we're already thinking about, like we only have logos for. Look at like Bayonetta 3, look at Metroid Prime 4, look at Pokemon. Like they've already kind of done that with the Switch. So to double down on that again, I don't know. It it doesn't seem like they're going to do it. I mean, I think the other thing that's raised expectations quite a lot is just statements from Nintendo th- themselves. The fact that they say they're gonna, they want to sell 20 more million Switch units. It's like, okay, what games are you gonna do to help push that to keep up your current level? So now there's this expectation that Nintendo will have some kind of big game that's gonna sell a ton of systems every month, and like expectations for their success have just gotten out of hand. It almost seems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, let's go ahead and get into our predictions here, then, I suppose. And let me go ahead and open it up with uh, a super boring one, just to get this out of the way, because we need to talk about... Well, we don't need to talk about it, but I just want to get out of the way, so we cover all our bases here. Uh, there will be a Kirby <laughs> Battle Royale trailer, because I haven't... You know, like, at least a short snippet for it, because it hasn't yet come out in the U.S. I think that's out in just a couple weeks here. Yep. Um, and beyond that, mm-hmm. they'll, of course, talk about Bayonetta 1 and 2 again, perhaps with a few more details. It might, you know, show off how the Amiibo work, which it kind of revealed on their website, I think, now. Um, but they'll provide a few more details on the ports of those games coming in February. Uh, and then, also, Pokemon is going to have a big presence in this Direct with Pokemon Crystal also coming to uh, the 3DS soon. Um, but to build off of that also, so this is kind of like a bunch of predictions in one, but most of them aren't really predictions. Uh, but this one is kind of my first real prediction. I think this is where they will finally announce uh, Detective Pikachu coming to the 3DS and it will be a combination of you know one and two or whatever. Wow, man, will this be the time they finally announce Detective Pikachu? That's a tough one. I'm going to tentatively agree. Like they were, they uh, they almost seems like they got something to prove with the 3DS more so than they do with the Switch. So I can see them being like, okay, yeah, here you go. Here's Detective Pikachu. It is coming. Here is our Pokemon announcement. Because here's the other thing. Here's another prediction, sort of going off that. We're going to hear nothing about Pokemon Switch in here. Not even a yeah. hint of yeah, Pokemon I Switch. Agree. It is. It is not time for it because. Uh, as I, 
there's just the fact is that we have another mystical Pokemon that was part of that was revealed with uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon mm-hmm. that has not been officially revealed yet. So plus that thing is not that Pokemon Switch is not coming until that thing gets revealed. Yeah. Plus, Pokemon Company usually likes to do their own things anyway with their own Pokemon. Exactly. Directs. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely I agree with you guys though. I think we are getting Detective Pikachu during this just because we've heard rumblings of the localization of that for years, mm-hmm. uh, literally years. It's been years now. Um, mm-hmm. So I, it's it's curious to me that we still haven't had it, and now that the Switch is out, it does seem like that would be kind of like a fun eShop swan song for 3DS. Uh, but I'm going to get into another prediction right now, Do which it. since we're in the 3DS thing, the 3DS realm, uh, uh-huh. I think there's going to be at least two more big third-party 3DS game announcements during this, and I think there's going to be more of a 3DS presence than people are expecting. Uh, in particular, there's one game I want to call out. I think we are going to see uh, that level 5 game, The Snack World, be localized and come to the 3DS. That's something that I had heard previously, like last year, just prior to E3, and I thought, oh yeah, that'd be a really cool announcement. You know, they reveal like a new level 5 property. Level 5 is obviously really close to Nintendo, and then nothing came of it. Um, but that is, I mean, that's like a big new IP for level 5 in Japan. Mm-hmm. And considering Nintendo's relationship with them, I wouldn't be surprised to maybe see that show up here. And, I mean, it'd be time for them to re- show off Yokai Watch 3. I know that the Yokai Watch games have, aren't doing amazing in, in the States, but uh, they still have Yokai Watch 3 to release over here. And we have been getting them pretty much annually, so it would make sense to finally get those games. Uh, and to, uh, to kind of bounce off that 3DS prediction, I have a really vague one, and that is the fact that Nintendo will announce another, thir- another 3DS game that's going to piss a lot of people off because it's not on Switch. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's some 3DS game. I mean, you Switch. can almost label that for Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's kind of true. That's Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Roger, you want to give us your next prediction? Sure. Uh, there was actually a rumor that came out like two days ago that was on 4chan that got a lot of traction. I know like blah, blah, 4chan rumors, whatever. <laughs> uh, but I remember reading this and being like, oh my God, if this is actually real... If this was really what the next Fire Emblem game would be, I think the rumor <laughs> called the game Fire Emblem Mutiny, right. and it was supposed to be, like, pirate-based. Oh, my God. If we get a pirate Fire Emblem game as the mainline game on Switch, I'm going to lose my mind. I think at this point that rumor has been debunked because they specifically said there would be an announcement Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. for the Direct. That didn't happen. Right. <laughs> uh, so I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Um, but I do think that we are going to see the first trailer for the upcoming Fire Emblem mainline game on Switch, and I actually will take that one step further. I think that might be one of the like biggest announcements during the Direct, because I think we're going to get the announcement of a special edition, I think we're going to get an exact release date, and I think it's going to be sooner than people expect, and I think there will be Amiibo tied with that game. Mm. I pretty much completely agree with all those points. Um, I the Fire Emblem is definitely going to be the biggest game revealed at this during this direct. I have no doubt in my mind about it. It's almost going to be like Echoes because Echoes kind of came out of nowhere and all of, a, all of a sudden it was like, hey, it's going to be out in May and that was announced back in February. So I can see the same sort of thing happening with Fire Emblem on the Switch. Just sort of keep it low, get it ready, get to that point, show it off, see what it's, uh, show it, get people excited and then just start unleashing tons of information up until the May release. And that'll be a good way to keep um, Fire Emblem in everybody's minds. Uh, I did not look at the mutiny rumor just because. No. <laughs> no, I, I mean I, know I, it'd be cool I didn't believe that. it either. But God, it would have been awesome—a pirate Fire Emblem. Game. I do, I do like the idea. I'm not yeah, even a big like Fire Emblem it. guy, but you say pirates, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. Just perk up. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely things they could do with it, but yeah, go ahead, Andre. Oh, well, I think Fire Emblem would be a smart title to announce because I'm. I, well, I guess I'll get into another one of my one of my predictions here. I don't think we're going to see. Uh, any huge games here that we don't already know about. So I don't think we're going to see Animal Crossing. I don't think we're going to see Smash Brothers. I don't think we're going to see uh, Metro Prime 4, which I guess we do know about, but we haven't seen anything of. Yeah. So, uh, although I will amend that to if we see any of them, it will be only one of them. <laughs> if we see any, it would be one, <laughs> and that's it. But I really don't think we're going to see any of them. So I think Fire Emblem would be a smart thing because that is, you know, that is quickly becoming one of Nintendo's bigger franchises, and having that, like, having that on the Switch gives people something to look forward to. Uh, beyond just Mar or beyond just um, Kirby and Yoshi, which, by the way, my prediction, yeah, we're going to see more of them. Duh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, a little more specific with Kirby and Yoshi. I think we'll get a release date for Kirby. We'll get a title for Yoshi, but nothing beyond that. Okay. Well, I'll get more specific than that. I'm going to say we're going to see Kirby in March because we know what's in February being Bayonetta, and we don't know anything about March beyond the fact that, or yeah, we don't know anything about March 
But we do yeah. know that Kirby was planned for the first half of the year. So I think that would be a good time to slot that game in. It Absolutely. does seem weird, though, like... I don't know, because Yoshi seems pretty far in development, too. That's and correct. it does seem odd that they would basically just put both of those games out really early. So maybe they are going to delay one and put one out, like, even though it's already done. Like, just to sort of put it out later in the year uh, to make the, you know, the catalog a little bit more diverse for the rest of the year. But, yeah, I I think I agree with you. I think Kirby's going to come first. I'm going to I'm gonna double down on that Kirby prediction, too. I think we're going to get pink Joy-Cons. Ooh, Ooh. man. I like that. I guess I mean, but yeah. there's already kind of pink with the with the Splatoon ones coming out. That's like a neon pink. I think this is going to be like a, a light soft Kirby pink. pink. I yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Kirby pink. Yeah. yeah, Kirby pink. I like that. Yeah, I can see that working. Two Kirby pinks. I kind of want that now. <laughs> yeah, I do too, actually. <laughs> um, well, and speaking, you know, if Yoshi did get delayed, I could see that. I mean, it does seem like two two similar 2D style platformers, like within a short window of time, does seem. Like, it might be a bit odd, but we've also seen Nintendo do this before on the Wii U. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if Yoshi did get delayed uh, to the end of the year. Also, there's precedent for it with you, with Wooly World, where we saw that years before it finally came out originally, so... <laughs> yeah, it was a completely different game yeah, at that point. Pretty much, yeah. I, I don't think we're going to have that long of a wait for Yoshi. Honestly, I see that as a pretty decent, like, August title. Yeah, I was, uh, on my predictions, I had June, like, maybe, like, after E3. Like, it might take, like, the arm slot last mm -hmm. year so or yeah last year so i'm not sure we'll see but i do think it'll come at least a few months after kirby because i think they should space those out um well let me fill in one gap here and that is right now i mean we all know too many specifics about the months but right now in january we know that there is nothing for switch there seems to be nothing for switch from a first party perspective so i'm gonna throw it out there i think we will see a first party title on switch in the form of some kind of eShop game i have no idea what that will be but i think there will be an eShop game that will come out shortly after this direct finishes up it's like hey here's this eShop game you never expected it's something small it won't be in stores but you can buy it right now or soon after. dylan's w rolling west there you yep. go <laughs> that's literally that. what i was gonna say because they <laughs> announced that on the direct last year in Japan, and I don't think that was shown on the American Direct, so I do think that will probably be seen during this. I, I would not be surprised if they announce that and they say, hey, it's coming out today. Um, and another game that I think they could potentially do that for, even though this is, again, more 3DS predictions. See, this is why I'm saying, people, temporary <laughs> expectations, there's a lot of 3DS stuff right. still coming. I think uh, we're going to see a date and potentially a release of that Sushi Striker game from E3. Oh, yeah. But do you think it'll still be on 3DS, though? I do. I do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That looked specifically for 3DS, yeah. like just in terms of gameplay. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Because it was touchscreen based too, wasn't it? As I recall. Yep. Yeah. Good point. That's a good one. All right. Well, um, another prediction here. Nothing too out there. We're going to see the Mario Plus Rabbids DLC. And I think it will, in fact, come in June, as I think uh, it showed up on like some website or some leak or something. I think, that makes, I think that's a good time for it. Um, so, yeah. And we'll find out what the new character is, which... I, I still have no idea who it could be. <laughs> I'm still hoping for uh, <laughs> Rosalind or Pauline Rabbit, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be great. Yeah, right. Oh, goodness. I, I think um, going along that, we, just as far as January releases, we found out, we know that Super Meat Boy Forever is coming out soon. Uh, we just saw uh, shortly before this an announcement that Darkest Dungeon is coming out uh, January 18th, I believe. So we're probably going to get a bit of an indie showcase just showing what's coming out in the coming weeks. Uh, for that. Nothing, you know, no, no real spotlight or any one, just like, here's a bunch of indie games coming. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll, for sure, we'll, we'll have a reel of uh, for, of indie games. I think we'll have a reel of third-party games. I don't know, like, I don't know what to guess now for third-party games, but I think... Oh, we'll boy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, so like, you do. You know it. Like, I think that's the issue. Like, I think there are a few big okay. names that have been circulating around that multiple people have told to almost everybody who's a Nintendo YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I don't know for the purposes of teasing or whatever, <laughs> um, but I, I do think one of those games will be shown off here, if not, like, two of them. And uh, just, like, some of the names thrown, you know, that have been thrown out there right now, and I don't know, like, you know, which are more credible than the others, but, like, the names that have been thrown out a lot recently are, of course, Dark Souls, um, the uh, Metal Gear Rising was one of mm -hmm. them, which was really weird, uh, Near Automata, Burnout Paradise... GTA 5 and Final Fantasy 15. And I think like at least two of those five will be shown off. I would agree with that. I fully yeah. agree with that. Yeah. I, I can I can definitely see at least two of those. Uh which ones are the most likely? <sighs> that one's rough. Burnout I'd say Burnout Paradise is kind of a lock. It feels like a simple game to get on the Switch, especially with it being an older title. Mm -hmm. 
and considering the fact it's an EA game too, and EA is the one who leaked this whole thing in the first place. True. Uh, the only one that I think, only other one that makes sense, maybe GTA V, maybe Dark Souls. I think is a little older than that. I think it is. I, I'm, dates are a mystery, so maybe Dark Souls is a possibility in there as well. Uh, but as far as Nier Automata or uh, Final Fantasy XV, I can't see that here yet. We will see. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to yeah, it's hard to guess what third party is. Like really, the floodgates are open now as to what could possibly appear here. And that's mm-hmm. exciting. Like, we haven't been able to have this kind of conversation in years now. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of cool. It's like, wow, they really could bring almost anything to it. And uh, it would be both a surprise and not at the same time. <laughs> and I think it's it's cool, too, because, like, even though people do complain about ports on the Switch, I do think these ports do breathe new life into these games because you can play them on the go. Like, being able to play a lot of the games that we just listed on the go would be amazing. And you haven't really been able to do that um, unless you want to count, like, the... Final Fantasy 15 mobile version or whatever that released on phones (laughs) but like on the whole like those are some really big third-party games and uh yeah I'm just like I'm I'm expecting a lot of third-party stuff and and I think I'm gonna actually narrow my prediction down a little bit more I think one of the third parties that's really gonna be shown off a lot is Square Enix I think we're gonna see a lot from Square during this direct uh because not only are they working on Octopath which I think is gonna get its official title during this direct I think we're gonna get a release date I also think it's going to have a special edition. Uh, we also know that Lost Sphere, which is a game they're developing, is coming out, I think, in a week and a half in North America. And right, uh, right, right. and they did announce last year that they're working on a lot of mid-tier games that they're going to bring to the Switch. Like, they specifically said mere tier development games. So that's stuff, to me, that seems like Nier or maybe like Tomb Raider. Um, and maybe not even necessarily like a Final Fantasy, but I think more along the lines of like their mid-tier franchises. Do you think... Do you think we could get, because uh, we had that tease during Christmas, could mean nothing, could mean something. Do you think we'll get see Bravely Default po- ports? Would that fall into mid-tier? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah, I'd be cool with that. Yeah. Uh, another one of my predictions, I, uh, I'm going to be a little bit more vague here because I don't know which one, but I do think we'll see another Wii U port. Yeah, you actually, yeah. I was going to guess the same thing. And I, was, I specifically uh, am pegging it for April. I think that'd be a great time to fill in like a gap after Kirby, uh, before E3, um, assuming Yoshi doesn't follow right up after Kirby. So I'm, yeah, I, I would agree with that. And I think maybe April for it, like April or May. Do you have any guesses for what that Wii port might be? I want be? my Donkey Kong Country Returns double pack. Yes. <laughs> but then, then you know, that also gets us into the problem of Kirby and Yoshi, where it's another plat- uh, 2D platform. I know platform. that is true. I don't yeah. care. That game transcends platformers. <laughs> the one that stands out to me that I'd love to see, but I just think there's like no chance of it happening, is uh, Sharp FE. I think that'd be so great to have yeah. on the system. Uh, but if if a Fire Emblem game comes out in the first half of the year, like the mainline Fire Emblem game, I think that would maybe like take away some of that steam. So I don't think that's going to happen. And I think that if the other big one that I'm thinking of is Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, and I think that it would just be too soon to release too at any soon, time. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, after Xenoblade 2 just came out. I think, if anything, if they end up porting that game, maybe it comes out like really late next year. Mm-hmm. Maybe Pikmin 3. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me clarify that. Really late this year. <laughs> Not really late. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think late 2019 is going to bring us a Xenoblade Chronicles export. <laughs> <laughs> So, Derek, wait, do you, do you actually think Pikmin 3 is a possibility with the fact that we've known about Pikmin 4 for however long now? <laughs> I mean, forever? if they do Pikmin the Bayonetta forever? thing where they like get people hyped for the for the next game by releasing the last game, it's not a terrible idea. That, yeah, uh, I mean, that's true. Um, I and think Pikmin 3 was gen- generally well regarded, so... I do think one problem with it, though, is it, one, it depended on the gamepad for the map. And two, it also uses the Wii Pointer, which the Switch can emulate with the, um, you know, with the Joy Cons, but it's not quite as good because you don't have that constant calibration. So I wonder I if mean, they would I just skip that. Think, and... Yeah, I mean, I think they could find some ways around it because they did retroactively put in pointer controls for Pikmin One and Two on the Wii. Yeah, that's true. So they, it wouldn't, it's not unheard of for them to change up the control scheme to do a port. I, yeah, I'm going to throw it out there. I don't think we'll see Pikmin 3 again. Um, I think the only Pikmin we possibly see would be Pikmin 4. But I'm not, I am not. I don't know what's going on with that game. So I I don't think it'll show up in this direct either. Yeah, I agree with that. Like yeah. The thing is, I don't want to get too... Like, we'll say this could show up, this could show up. Um, 
and it gets overwhelming with like all this stuff and it ends up being like man this have to be a 30 minute direct to have all this stuff and i don't i don't know about that well see so, i think for like third party games or indie games though they'll probably do the same thing they did for the past couple uh which is where they just do the headlines where exactly. they're like oh this is the game True. that's coming out this is the release date this is the game this is the release date you know and they do that for maybe like five or six announcements um yeah because there I mean, were I'm, a lot of announcements in the in the e3 one the e3 one was only 30 minutes that is true. Yeah, and Hell Online I mean, format they, does allow like, you just rip through those games pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they'll have, like, if in a third-party lineup, they might announce some of the new ones that Roger mentioned, but we're also... We know about Wolfenstein 2. We right. know about Dragon Quest Builders, and that one's coming out soon. So we'll likely get those as part of that lineup. And we actually know about Dragon Quest Eleven too. They've announced that. They said they're localizing it. They're bringing it here. And Japan still hasn't seen or had a release date for the Switch version yet. So I do think that they'll probably get that at the very least in the Japanese version of this Direct. Potentially. Yeah. Okay, another prediction, since it feels like they may have to, I don't know, I, I'm getting the sense that they may have some gaps here to fill over the first half of the year. Obviously, we'll find out once we actually see the Direct. But I think to help fill those gaps, they may have even more DLC. So I think we'll either see some kind of new announcement for Splatoon 2, whether a new mode, like maybe finally playable Octolings or something, or maybe something smaller like a stage. Uh, or maybe they'll show off something for another game uh, that we haven't really seen much DLC or any DLC for, such as Mario Odyssey. I'm not expecting like a second quest or anything at this point, but I can see them throwing in like some kind of like fun little bonus or something. Maybe like, hey, you can finally play as Luigi or something. Yeah, yeah, they can see that. I think that's. I think Mario Odyssey probably is uh, the biggest option because we already have DLC for Fire Emblem Warriors, so that takes that out. Uh, mm -hmm. We could also. Um, I'm trying to think over the releases. Arms is done. Yeah, well, Xenoblade. Done. I mean, we already know there's going to be a DLC pack for Xenoblade in January. Oh, that's true. Good point. Yeah, well, so then we'll yeah, that, that will definitely show up here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. One of those DLC packs for Xenoblade is story content, so we'll f maybe see something from that as well. Yeah. Uh, Splatoon has a chance. All oh, right, Pokémon. Do you yeah. think Pokémon could get into DLC? No. Okay. I don't think so. No. I think I think they're gonna wait to make like a Pokémon too. I don't think we're going to see would, anything That from would that make more time. sense to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, fair enough. All right, Roger, what's your next prediction? Okay, well, first off, I also <laughs> want to clarify, we are currently recording this at 12 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, still no direct announcement, so I just wanted to give a quick update. <laughs> I have been refreshing in another tab. Still the no direct, direct watch. announcement. Direct the announcement direct watch. watch, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, let me, let me sort of, like, narrow this down. So we, we talked about Yoshi, <laughs> we talked about Kirby, we talked about Fire Emblem. We talked yeah. about Detective Pikachu, a bunch of 3DS games. I mean, I hate to say this, and then a bunch of third-party games, too. I feel like that's it. I I, yeah. I really, genuinely feel like that's it. And I think if this... the third-party games are that big, and we have Fire Emblem, and it's a full blow out of Fire Emblem, we get exact release dates for Yoshi, Kirby, and Octopath, and we get, like I said, like the, the big third-party announcements, plus a lot of like 3DS stuff, too, like bringing Detective Pikachu over, I, I genuinely believe that's it. I don't think we're getting Animal Crossing. I don't think we're getting Pikmin. I don't think we're getting Smash Brothers. I don't think we're seeing Metroid. And I don't think we're going to see uh, like a new Zelda or anything like that. So I know there was that rumor out there about like a Link's Awakening 3DS remake. I don't think that's happening. Um, yeah. Which would be amazing. By the it, way. it would be. Yeah. Oh, I would totally be down with that. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. This is this is surprising to hear from you of all people, Roger. Yeah. Usually, <laughs> usually you're the one with like these grand ambitions. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you'll hit on it every now and then. But yeah. <laughs> um, wow. I, mean, so, I, I was the one who said Bayonetta was going to be at the Game Awards. You did. You nailed it. Exactly. That. I nailed yeah. like almost all of those Game Awards. No, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I I kind of agree. I mean, I do agree with you. Like, I yeah, I I think that we are just going. I think we are mostly going to be seeing games we already know about minus possibly fire emblem as you guys touched on yeah uh yeah i think this yeah i, I think uh I mean, as i said at the start i think people are going to be disappointed with this because mm -hmm. expectations right now are so high for this people i think really are expecting an e3 type type reveal or type reveals mm -hmm. when i don't think we're going to be getting that although fire emblem would be very cool even if that doesn't personally appeal to me too much yeah, um yeah. i can I mean, that would be a big thing for a lot of people but I know a lot of people are going to be expecting even beyond that, which I yeah. don't think we're getting here. People are expecting a lot of games, and I just remembered this because of those Amazon listings. Right, the HP right. team. So update on that, actually. Uh, as we were recording, GameStop's system has been updated, and there are 10 SKUs for Switch. Uh, like, game SKUs, not system SKUs, but game SKUs for Switch that were just entered into the system as placeholders. There's six of them, and it happened an hour ago. Um, mm. So, I mean, those sometimes mean nothing, 
They sometimes mean, hey, buckle down, there's going to be something announced soon. Um, but six is a lot less than the rumored 18 off of Amazon. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of thing with rumors, right? They can get out of hand. I saw yeah. so many leaks. Some people on Twitter are posting, like, you know, from their inside sources with things I know aren't true oftentimes. <laughs> it's like, oh, geez, guys, you are yeah. really raising your expectations of this. Yeah. Um, however, I do have one more prediction here, and <laughs> it's probably the one I'm least certain on. But I think that we may find out what Switch, what what the Switch firmware 5.0 actually is. I don't think it's what that leaked video is. I don't think that's real at all. Yeah, uh, I agree. But I do think elements of it may be, uh, with the most likely, of course, being themes. So I think we may get a Switch 5.0, you know, announcement, and and I hope that it involves themes because that will be amazing. I can see us getting themes, but yeah, there's no, there's not going to be any online announcements or anything like that. I'm yeah. glad you you both agree with me because I'm going to double down on that too. I don't think we're going to get anything on the online now that they've said that they're delaying it. Um, I think it's like what to fall 2018 or something. So did they did they say that? I thought it was only I still to this year. Uh, I'm pretty sure they I said don't that they're delaying. I don't think it. any in a way or in Japan have said anything. I think it was some other offshoot that said, that mentioned it, and it was. That's where like it Canada or Europe. Yeah, or something. somewhere in Europe. I think. Yeah, it was Italy. Italy that's it, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, there yeah. You go. Okay. Italy is the only one that said that so on, far. Well, based on what I saw, though, I'm which I didn't look in. I didn't look into it too deeply, but I'm not sure if that was really concrete or I don't know. I, I'm not reading too much into that. Regardless, yeah. I kind of agree. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna release this thing until after E3. Yeah, uh, I don't. don't know. I was just going to say really quickly, I don't know if you guys agree with this, but do you think that they're going to launch it alongside a big multiplayer game? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I think it has to. If we look at the schedule right now and all the stuff we brought up, all of that is single player driven, even the third party things we brought up. So I think like they're going to probably wait until after E3 for maybe something like, uh, I I don't want to say it's Smash Brothers because I actually don't think we're even going to see Smash Brothers this year, but like maybe an Animal Crossing. Like, if we get the Animal Crossing announcement at E3, I just... See, that's the... Here's... It doesn't pair... I feel like it doesn't pair well with Animal Crossing. Yeah, and That feels yeah. weird to me. I mean, granted, at some point, you'd have to be paying for it regardless. But to have Animal Crossing as your big hook for an online service, I don't see it. I really do think it has to be Smash Brothers. I've said before, I think Smash Brothers could be this year. Although, I've... I, I also think it could possibly be released first first quarter of next year or really anytime thereafter. But I am kind of expecting it either either this holiday season or first quarter of next year, being like how Brawl was released on the Wii. Um, and I think that's when the online service launches or shortly thereafter. But I can't imagine another game it really pairing with well because uh, I I don't think they can release it before then before Smash. I don't know. I don't know, oh, Andre. They trademarked uh, 1080 snowboarding, so. <laughs> so I, I was actually. Oh man, you stole! Ah, I stole your thunder. <laughs> Literally, what I was gonna say. I was just gonna say that maybe that trademark had some truth to it because that yeah. does seem like an older franchise that they could bring mm-hmm. back. Um, that would be like a fun kind of sports multiplayer game. Um, and to me, I maybe some people aren't gonna agree with me. I think it's much more likely we see another 1080 before we see a new Wave Race or a new F Zero. Um, as much as that pains me to say that. <laughs> well, you know um, what the best thing about new uh, 1080 would possibly be? Is it means maybe NST can finally stop making Mario vs. Donkey Kong games and finally make oh, another 1080 again. Oh, there's a prediction. Again. New, Mario, right, right, new, new Mario and Donkey Kong game. <laughs> oh, That's your eShop oh, title for not, January. Yeah. Oh, my God. If if it is, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I just uh, I thought of something else. I, I, I probably shouldn't say this because there's a lot of fans. Wait, hold on. Sorry, there. Roger. Pause real quick. Go ahead. I, if it's Mario vs. Donkey Kong, but in New Donk City, I'm actually on board with that. If they <laughs> tied in New Donk City, cool. I can work with that. All right, so Roger, continue. No, I, I was just... <laughs> I would actually be yeah. down with that, too. But I was going to say, I know a lot of people still really like this franchise. For me, I'm just kind of like burned down at and that's Shovel Knight. Uh, we know there's the new Shovel Knight oh, campaign. Right, right. I think we'll probably see that here, too. Yeah. I'm not saying Shovel Knight's bad. I, it's just like one of those things that, like, it's been out for so long now, and I'm kind of... I'm You're like, ready uh, for them to move like, on. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, all right, come on, bring me Shovel Knight 64. I'm I, mean, kinda, I think I'm I think they're ready to move on too. It's I think like. they are too. Yeah. Yeah, they've been working on this forever now. Yeah. So, or the yeah, the game in general. Um. Well, I am pretty much our predictions. I think <laughs> a lot of them were like predicting what wasn't yeah, going to appear. <laughs> yeah. How about you guys? Do you have anything else, or are you tapped as I well? I mean, I the only little thing I have here is that. There, there, there won't be any new amiibo announcements. I know Roger said they'll blow it out with Fire Emblem and maybe new amiibos for that. That's the only potential for a new amiibo to appear in my mind, but otherwise, no new amiibo. Not you don't think we'll get a swole DDD amiibo? I would love it. 
That'd be funny. I would love it. Yeah, I would, it. That'd be yeah. I'd absolutely have to get it, but I don't think so. I feel like that might be a missed opportunity. It really I would think be. That could do well. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. already kind of blown up. So I'd actually be surprised if we don't see any new amiibo for either Kirby or Yoshi. Well, actually, I'd be more surprised with Kirby. I feel like Yoshi's already yeah. like the uh, the yarn Yoshi we've already mm -hmm. seen. But, you know, I don't know what else they could do with that. But Kirby, I can see more pot more potential for. I do think though that that's something in general that we will see is more amiibo and more Joy-Con colors. Um, those are like smaller level announcements, but still cool things that could tie in with other games that are coming out earlier this year to make them kind of unique. Um, so I do think that that is something we will see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that makes sense. I don't know though, uh, like looking at the release schedule and thinking about the rest of the year, it's like, I, like, I think we're going to end this year with like a Luigi's Mansion and a Pikmin and Animal Crossing. I feel pretty strongly about those three games. I think all three of those are coming in 2018, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen during this i like i know people want me to say that but i really i don't think it's going to i Those think feel like e3 announcements well that's the that's the other issue right is that something i was going to bring up earlier is like when would be the best time to announce animal crossing because i kind of feel too. like now is the best time because you know they're riding high with pocket camp and then at the same time you've got hardcore animal crossing fans you even have like chrissy teigen you know saying tweets like this isn't the real animal crossing bring me a real animal crossing <laughs> on switch so i think like <laughs> I think now would maybe be the right time to do it because that is not a game that would demo well at E3. Mm -hmm. no. And I think this E3 is going to be huge for both Sony and for Microsoft. So I think they... And again, Nintendo always does their own thing. I don't think they want to like worry about being dwarfed by the competition or whatever. But I, I really think like an Animal Crossing would get it not, like lost in the shuffle during E3. Mm -hmm. Whereas like... And Pikmin would too, man. I like... I don't know. <laughs> I think the only one of those three that I think we'll probably see at E3 is Luigi's Mansion. I feel pretty confident that like... The time is right for Luigi's Mansion. We don't know what's going on with Next Level. Um, it just seems well, likely they just, that they're but doing that. We were talking about this in the January predictions, I think. And Next Level just wrapped up uh, Federation Force not too yes. long ago. That so wasn't think... that wasn't not too long ago, though. I mean, that was that was last year. Well, twenty sixteen. That was the beginning of last year. Yeah, and they. Oh yeah, it was twenty sixteen. Yeah, it oh, was twenty sixteen. You're right, my bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's been. I mean, it's, it's been twenty seventeen. I should hope that they didn't spend that much time at Federation Force. <laughs> I should hope that at least two years, you know. But then again, we don't know what's going on with Retro either. It's just right now we're in a state of unknowns with Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, like, they could just surprise us, pull out a bunch of new IPs that we're not expecting and we could be blown away. Um, but at the same, t same time, just like going off the stuff that we know about, going off the franchises that we know about, the big ones like the Metroids and the Smash Brothers just don't seem right for this. No, not at all. Y yeah, I mean, I absolutely agree with that. Um, Animal Crossing, it does seem like a good time for it, but I can also see it being, you know, the next direct being in, what, March or yeah, April? Give it, yeah, give it its time own for that direct. Way Exactly, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, it would See, definitely that would be that. weird. That's a game I think, though, that they should announce months before that game comes out. And then have to, it like, direct. Yeah, because I think with Fire Emblem, they've always sort of done the thing where it's like, oh, yeah, here's the new game. It's coming out in two months. Whereas, like, I don't think you could really do that with an Animal Crossing game. That's a huge franchise. I think that's, like, mm -hmm. their third best-selling franchise beyond Mario and Pokemon. So I, I think it'd be weird to just, like, announce it in spring and have it out by early summer. It just, I don't know. I'm thinking, for whatever reason... Thinking either late summer or sometime in the fall for Animal Crossing. Like it feels like the kind of game I want to play. Like I want to cuddle up and <laughs> play with, like under my blanket, right? Like yeah, yeah. I uh, just thought of something else too that we didn't talk about that we already pretty much know about. And they mm -hmm. might just give a release date for it here. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Oh right. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and technically Mega Man 11 or is it 11 or 12? 11. What are they on right Ele now? Well, 11. 11 we know is coming out in the winter of 2018. So this would be the time right. to announce when the first Legacy Collection is coming out because we still we have well, Legacy Collection one and two plus the all the X games. So we need to find out when those are coming. Have they officially mentioned? Mega Man 11, though, on a Nintendo Direct in the past. Because if they haven't, I do think they'll do a little headline. They have not. It was just sort of all-encompassing okay, yeah. for 11. They might tie that in then with the Legacy Collection stuff then. Like, we know already about the Mega Man X the Legacy Collection that's coming. Oh, no. It's not a Legacy Collection. It's that they're releasing all yeah, of we don't. Yeah, we don't know if it's right? a collection yet or not. It'd be weird yeah. if they didn't because going from 5 to 8, like, I, I've heard good things about 8, but uh, 5 through 7 are not great games. <laughs> <laughs> Especially seven, so I can't see them selling that on its own because nobody <laughs> would buy it. Also, since we're on Switch Rods right now, we are nine minutes away from twelve thirty, so that <laughs> might be the other big. Uh, but I want to I want to bring this up because our friends over at Go Nintendo just uh, talked about this, which is that multiple Twitter accounts for third parties have been responding now to that Chibi Robo tweet, uh, including Capcom with Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, Doom, Assassin's Creed, Obsidian, and Riot Games, and. 
I think that would be something huge that I don't expect necessarily, and it could just be like funny and they're just playing off of it to get some engagement. Um, League of Legends on Switch oh, man. would be crazy. Because we already know that that, that one nuts. Chinese version of it's coming out, right? The Ages of Valor or whatever it's called. I don't even know the name. I don't care. But, like, there's <laughs> there's that one that they already announced is coming to it. But I think to actually have League on a handheld um, would, would be huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that would be huge. And yeah, I, could, I could definitely see Pillars of Eternity on Switch for Obsidian. Aren't yeah. they the ones that did that? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think so. I think so. Where is your excitement now for this? Because I'm excited to find out what this finally is, with it hopefully happening tomorrow. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> uh, I'm not excited for the potential reaction to it. I really do. Oh, the reaction's going to be a mess. Not gonna be a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a yeah, mess, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, because I don't think it's going to be as big as a lot of people are expecting or hoping it is. Uh, I, I agree. think the. Yeah. So, yeah, any final thoughts, guys? You want to get out there before we wrap it up? Temper your expectations, but that being said, I do hope they show off Fire Emblem because I'm very curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of in the same boat. I think the Direct is going to be really good, but I think uh, temper your expectations. That is important. Uh, <laughs> le- you know what, though? Let's This wouldn't be complete without a crazy prediction. Let's just do... <laughs> yes! Let's the do, waiting. like... All right, let's do just some absolutely crazy prediction. All right, here we go. All right, I'm ready. Andre, you have already said that you think Smash Brothers is coming out this year. Yep. You think that's going to happen? You think they might launch the online with Smash Brothers? I don't think that's the case. Okay. Because I think Sakurai is working on something else. And Sakurai has been very, very silent over the course of the past however many, like, what, year and a half since the uh, DLC ended for Wii U. I think he's tweeted, like, not including retweets about six times in the past year. Because he knows that anything he tweets might be a giveaway to something <laughs> he's working on. And I don't think he's just been taking a break. I think Sakurai is working on something new, and whether that's a new Kid Icarus or a new IP like Meteos or whatever, I think he is working on something new, and I think we could see Sakurai's new game as sort of like a fun little one more thing during this Direct. Okay, I love everything about that idea. I just don't see how it's possible unless you think that Smash either is in in development right now or is being overseen by someone else. I, I just, I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> I was I mean you you remember last year I was vehemently in the camp that said we were going to get Smash 4 Deluxe with new characters with Inkling and Ribbon Girl or whatever right. but like I don't I don't know I don't really feel that anymore I think it's gone on a little too long sort of like the teasing for this direct <laughs> uh, I feel like I I just I feel like it's been going on a little too long and I think it'd be strange for them to now be like oh by the way Smash 4 is coming here's some new characters there you go unless there was like really something meaty they were adding to it like all the 3DS content plus like maybe a single player mode or something like that but I, I I really think they're working on something new and I think the next Smash Brothers might not even be helmed by Sakurai as as crazy as that is to mm-hmm. say um, I, I have a strong feeling and I'm saying this is a hardcore diehard Smash Brothers fan right. who follows everything about Smash <laughs> Brothers I really think Sakurai is working on something else and I think he's going to let somebody else take the reins for the next one I'm actually okay with all of that I mean I I don't think that's the case, but I would love all that. Like, I would love to see him branch out, do more new things. I think it's too bad he's been shackled to Smash for as long <laughs> as he has. He makes amazing games, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, his talents can be used elsewhere, too. It's like, okay, I play four versions of how you want Smash to be. They're they're all fun, but, I you know, Kid Icarus Uprising was a breath of fresh air. Also, Meteos was a fantastic yeah. game. Um, so yeah, it'd be really fun to see him try new things. I mean, this might be yeah. sacrilegious, but <laughs> I, I honestly prefer a... Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising port or new Kid Icarus game over Smash. <laughs> I'd, I'd much rather have one of those just because I, I do like, I do want to see Sakurai branch out because when he branches out, you get fun stuff. And Kid Icarus Uprising did have the online mail mode already built in, so that could be what they pair with the online <laughs> exactly. I mean, I would love a Kid Icarus Uprising port. I like, seriously, Kid, Up- Kid Icarus Uprising HD I think would be phenomenal if they threw that on Switch. Uh, especially because I think they should have put it on Wii, honestly, with the motion oh, yeah. control. I think that would have fixed everybody's biggest issue with that game. And the Joy-Cons still have motion control. They are basically Wii Motion Pluses. You can play it on the go using like a weird control scheme, or you can play it on the TV using, you know, the... Or you can play it on the go with the little kickstand using the Joy-Cons separately. So really, it's like, there's no reason to not bring that game or a game very similar to it to the Switch anytime. And plus, people love Kid Icarus. That's like a franchise that I've noticed of the smaller Nintendo franchises that where the fan bases just die hard. People love some Veridi. People love some Hades. 
you know, friend of the show Chugga is a giant fan of Kid Icarus <laughs> Uprising. So I, uh, I think a lot of people would be really stoked if we ended up getting that. I just, mm -hmm. I don't think it's likely, um, but I do think that would be like a fun little surprise. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, that would, yeah, that could be one of the ports. Or like instead of a Wii U port, I would happily take that 3DS port. So, yeah. yeah. Also, right. on a, wait, one more thing. Actually, <laughs> right. on Switch Watch, this is breaking news. Uh, Scribblenauts Showdown for Switch has officially been listed on Play Asia, Amazon, and GameStop. So that is probably something that we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Man, I completely forgot about Scribble Knots. <laughs> I did too. I know, it took I me a second it. to even remember what it was. I'm like, wait, was that the was that that cutting game that launched with the <laughs> Switch? Um, Snipper yeah. Clips? But no. <laughs> um, although, I hope, I guess it'll be mostly a game you want to play handheld form, right? Because of the keyboard. But the game's all about like yeah, typing, typing in stuff. words, right? And yeah, spawning yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, so. yeah. That will kind of suck on the TV. <laughs> I, I want to hear, though, I want to hear from you guys, because I don't want you guys to just have me as the crazy one. Like, give one crazy out the prediction of something you think might happen during this. I want to hear one from both of you. Okay, fine. My crazy prediction is... I, I already said I don't think we'll see Animal Crossing, Smash Brothers, or Metro Prime 4, but I did have the little uh, the amendment in there where if we did, it will be one of them. And I'll just put it out there, since, I've, since I'm the one championing Smash for the possibly oh this year. Oh my god, don't do I, this! <laughs> I think possibly a super small teaser. Like, I'm talking nothing. Like, you just see the logo, you see like a character or something, and that's it. So, like, some kind of teasing people ready for I can I can honestly but predict, I, I can almost see how it would be, be done. Like, they talk about Kirby Star Allies, and they have Kirby walk out. Do a little high, and then all of a sudden the Smash Brothers logo appears above him, or like smashes <laughs> yep. into it. Just, or like, that's kind of. Oh, go ahead, Roger. I was just gonna say, or like they could say, uh, and one more thing. While we're not quite ready to announce our full plans for Smash Brothers on Switch, we do want to give you one quick hint of things to come. And then you hear the ching, and you see yep. the little cross go against the screen, and then you just hear yup. And it's the ice climbers, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that'd be exact. That'd I mean, be that ties into my pre crazy prediction. I mean, I'm, this is, yeah. I almost wanted to say that um, Sakurai. For some reason, I almost feel like Sakurai's next game might be a, like a update of Ice Climbers. I don't know why, but I just can totally see that. I can just, or even as it's that might be the the eShop title, just some way to update Ice Climbers because. Smash Brothers has created a love for those characters and to see them come back in some way, let's go nuts. Bring those guys back as it's just a smaller B level or even C level tier game. F Zero would be cool. I want, you know what I, I kind of want? I want a custom robo. It's been a while. I would like to see a custom robo game. I never I never played that game, that series. Yeah, I'm not yeah, playing that. That was really myself. fun. It was a fun game on GameCube. I played the Import 1 on N64. I think that'd be a really cool thing to bring back. Maybe, oh, a new Sin and Punishment might be cool. I'm just trying to think of like very, well, very bottom of the barrel. Honestly, Nintendo Cinnamon Punishment like, well, hey, if you like, do a port. <laughs> well, oh yeah, we yeah. can port Cinnamon Punishment too. Yeah. Well, hey, if you're, talk if you're talking bottom of the barrel, instead of custom Robo, shouldn't it be Chibi yeah, exactly. Robo? I mean, it would be the most appropriate. Chibi Robo on fire. <laughs> that yeah, would be exactly. pretty funny if they announced it. But watch it be like Chibi Robo Ziplash. That it end ends up being like a port. <laughs> oh, God, no, port. Chibi oh, Robo Ziplash. Oh, yeah. And on that bummer of a note, <laughs> we're yeah. done here. Roger, where can people find you at? Uh, you can find me at Roger's Base on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. And it is currently 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. And there Still is nothing. no Nintendo Direct <laughs> announcement. Yeah. So if this is happening tomorrow, I, I don't know what they're thinking. We'll see. We'll find out soon. I mean, it will be really soon at this point. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. All right. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for lots more on hopefully the Nintendo Direct and everything else Nintendo as well. Catch you later. Bye.